What's up, savages? I'm going to try a new little thing here. I'm going to walk you through some scenarios. I get asked all the time, what, what should I do if? What should I do when? How should I handle this? And I'm going to give you a walkthrough of what I think these people should do in this video. All right, Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video. This one, a little pre uh, pretext. Three women walking on the street at 1130 at night which I would advise to do first out of the gate. Um, I wouldn't want my wife, my mom walking around the street. This street here looks pretty empty at 1130 at night. Uh, I think this is in uh, South Philadelphia. Yeah, born and raised. What is that, Will Smith? Anyway, let's go ahead and hit play. So these three women, let's see. 30, when an unknown man comes up from right. behind and out of the So she sees him right here, right? This woman sees this guy coming in hot. These two don't. So she's got pretty self -aware well self awareness to the point where she sees this guy coming up at her, but he comes in hot and for whatever reason he goes after this one, not this one. Where strikes one of them in the and hits her, man, cold clock. That's tough to see. Uh, that's <laughs> brutal. But if one of these girls had a weapon in her purse or was carrying, let's say, um, it would be a very different scenario. But they do start attacking. I mean, he turns, get, punching she, a second woman. This guy, okay. just, this guy, you don't know his crazy. He has violence set, and he's going in kill mode, right? He's He hit her, hit the first one. Look at her friend comes back over here and tries to help some. I, I give props to these three women. They fought. They they tried to do what they could to prevent Down this from happening. Going in for another hit. Look at She takes what maybe is a purse and something in there and hits him. So, like I said, great idea to go after him, but they have never probably taken a class to handle this situation, but I give them props for going after the guy and trying to make a, you know, make a difference. When the third woman tries to stop just, him, he pins her against the wall and starts swinging. I don't swinging. know if there was another altercation before this. They might have said something smart ass, whatever they did. That, they don't deserve this kind of action, but th this guy seems like he, he's really intent on hurting them and he has hate in his heart. So she stumbles backward onto the Damn. sidewalk. They were screaming so, so loud. Like Right before she left, she looked like she picked up a trash can. They were screaming so yeah, loud. Uh, like they were screaming. Fall and start swinging. Right at the end here, so she stumbles backward up a trash onto the can. sidewalk. They were screaming so loud. It, but, like they were screaming for their lives. Um, it's, it's tough. Neighbors who heard see. and saw the attack still reeling from it all. It was just ridiculous the way he was beating that young lady. And the other two young ladies, they were helpless. I mean, they tried their best because they're no... Two of them jumped on him, and he threw them on the ground. As un but look at she's got her feet up. Like, if he comes at her again, she could up kick him. And I mean, like I said, give props to these women. They tried. They tried their best. Both as it started, the man paces for a moment, appearing to charge towards one of the women, only to keep going past her. It's just amazing. He just stopped and casually walked down the street. Police arrived a few minutes later, but the man got away. Why he did it is still unknown. Well, I also questioned who was this guy. I thought, okay, he's coming to aid. He's going to help him out. He just later, storms the right man through got here. Away. Why he did it kind of is might still be with that unknown. Dude, because look at just how that woman that backs off when it happens. And got away. So, Why he did it is watch and this. paces for a moment of charge this towards guy comes one of the women, the right. only to keep going past her. It's just amazing. He just. Stop. She's, look at how she's got that. She's using that trash can as a barrier, which is really smart. Use whatever you can as a weapon, a tool, anything to protect you. But look at this guy Police comes in. arrived a few minutes later, but the man got away. She stands off Why a he bit. did it is still unknown. Just to know that absolutely, can be doing absolutely nothing. So this, again, I'm at the point where I'm. This is just to tell you that good, bad things happen to good people all the time. So you need to defend yourself. These women did a great job. Um, there was three of them. They did what they could. They fought back, right? They didn't just curl up in a ball and let this guy keep hitting them because who knows how long he would have kept hitting them. So I give props to these three women. Uh, some things that I wouldn't recommend, don't walk on a street um, at 1130 at night by yourselves. I know there's three of them. Good, good job on that. But just be self-aware, you know? Know that that guy, if you passed him or whatever, you know, always keep your head on a swivel. Look around one block ahead, one, you know, on the street or the next... Um, curb over behind you when i'm walking around with my wife or kid I'm, I'm heads on a swivel i'm not being paranoid but i'm just watching and just keep aware be aware of your surroundings because what if somebody was behind this car right here did you see that guy come over there and jump behind that car little tips like that is what you need to be aware of uh, again 
props to the girls for, for fighting back and defending themselves, but this guy was just an asshole. Um, and he had intent in his heart to go hurt these women. And he did, you know, he got, he punched him hard, but, uh, don't go walking around the street. I think is what the moral point of this story is at 1130. Um, especially, I don't know anything about downtown or down South Philadelphia street. I don't know anything about Philadelphia, but, uh, anywhere I don't walk to anywhere at 1130 at night. So that's what you can get out of this one. Um, uh, want more tips, go to savagesyndicategroup.com and go ahead and sign up for the uh, membership. But uh, that's a little tip for today. Stay safe, stay savage, stay hard to kill.